Today we're going to be reviewing the 3.7 volt LCD universal battery charger. When it comes to batteries, we all have them, we all buy them, and we keep throwing them out. It stops au charging automatically. Why don't we have a universal battery charger that can charge all of the types of current rechargeable batteries on the market? It's like an old school video game. <laughs> It supports the battery repair function, so it doesn't overcharge your batteries. This particular battery is charged using a USB. If you get a nice little sizzle on your tongue, that means it's still working. Oh, I definitely felt that. However, the negative electrodes use the hydride, absorbing alloy instead of cadmium. You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> So with all these batteries around, why isn't there one universal battery charger? We got one. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Join Run S4 Smart Charger, which is compatible with almost every single type of rechargeable battery. So this was $36 on Amazon. Now when you compare this to chargers like this, that you get waiting in a grocery line. These usually come with batteries attached to them, but they're still about $21, $22. More than likely, you will go and forget this, lose this, and you'll be back to square one buying the next one in about a year. Today, I am going to educate you on batteries. There are different types of batteries out there. There is the nickel metal hydride battery, abbreviated NIMH. So these are the metal nickel hydride batteries. You have one final wish. Long life. Still going. Long lasting energizer batteries. It's a type of a rechargeable battery. The chemical reaction at the positive electrode is similar to that of the nickel cadmium cell with both using nickel oxide hydride. However, the negative electrodes use the hydride absorbing alloy instead of cadmium. Everybody knows that. I like you. You're crazy. You're crazy. Let's get into it. It's very large, as you can see. So you need to go and hook this up to your wall. And, wow, it's like an old school video game. It comes with its own manual. This is one of those moments that you definitely need to read the manual to understand what is happening with the device. It also comes with a plastic I think it's to hold your batteries. It also came with this, some sort of a stand. Construction seems pretty solid. It's made of plastic. And on the back, there is heat dissipation vents because there is a large LED on the front. This automatically detects battery power status and it displays charging progress. There's a short circuit protection, overcharge protection, overheat protection, and reverse polarity protection. It also detects battery resistance and it supports team battery repair function. It's compatible with a DC 12 volt car charger so you can take this into your car. The input voltage, well, I'm just gonna show you the rest right here on the bottom and you guys can read this on your own. Let's put in the battery and let's see what happens. Immediately, is it charging? So I'm gonna put another rechargeable one. Let's put a, a regular alkaline battery and see what happens. What I like about this is that you can take regular non-rechargeable batteries and you can also see how much power and juice is left in them. This is not sponsored by Duracell. Do you need the most trusted battery this holiday? Maybe not. What would you say to Santa? You know where you live and I'm gonna find you. Alkaline batteries have a higher energy density and longer shelf life with the same voltage. It has alkaline electrolyte of potassium hydride. The alkaline battery depends upon the reaction between zinc metal and manganese dioxide. So these batteries are alkaline and they expired in 2007, if you can read there. So let's see if this has any juice. And apparently that last battery also has power. The first one is the AA Energizer. 
So it's got 1.32 volts. It's identified this correctly. It gives you a status of how long the item has been charging. So now it's at two minutes. Now let's see what happens when I put the second battery in. Okay, so it takes a few seconds for it to refresh. And it shows you that you're number four. Pressing the slot button will switch between the different batteries. Let's put in the Duracell, which is an alkaline battery. Well, any stats that are displaying are now only for the number two. We should probably uh, take this one out because this is not for regular batteries. If you don't like the product, they do offer a 100% no hassle return guarantee. So I'm gonna charge this up and see if it charges the batteries. So overnight, I left this charging. It took two hours, 23 minutes to charge. It says they're all full. So let's switch between the slots. So battery four took two hours, 21 minutes, and it's at 1.42 volts out of 1.5. Then the next one is one. That one's completely full. And then that one's 1.51, and that one took actually 5 hours and 11 minutes to charge. That's it. Marcin, out.